Hey, what's up, what's up, what's up? How you doing? How you been? What's going on? What's good? All you getting it in? Somebody's getting it for you. What's good to people? <laughs> Ooh, what's good to people? I'm not going to make this video very long. I just want to talk about something that's been, you know, been reoccurring with me and a couple of girlfriends of mine. It's been talking about the Obamacare. The Obamacare now approves sexual reassignment surgery for transgenders. Did you hear what I said? I said Obamacare now approves sexual reassignment for transgenders. The ban has been lifted. For the conservatives that did not want to deal with this issue and it kept sweeping up under the rug because they didn't want to deal with it, they didn't want to deal with it, well, they now finally decide to deal with it and it's been approved. It's been, it's been lifted. You can now have a sex change. Um, as far as New York, I know they're doing it over there and you can also go through Medicare, that means welfare, and they will pay for this also. Allegedly, this is what I'm thinking because that's what I was, you know, it's important. I'm going to say allegedly just in case it's not all true, you know, but Obamacare approves um, transgender sexual reassignment surgery. Okay, here's a link right here. I put something together real quick so you can read it and go through it yourself. Okay, go. Transgender Americans seeking gender reassignment surgeries are finding relief through Obamacare, the Daily Beast reported on Monday. Federal laws banning health insurance discrimination against transgender people, combined with Obamacare's ban on denying coverage for those with pre-existing conditions, have paved a path for transgender patients who wish to make the transition from one gender to another. The federal anti-discrimination regulations have yet to be written, but California insurance regulators have said that companies must treat transgender patients the same as other patients, reports the Daily Beast. For example, if plans cover hormones for postmenopausal women, they must also cover them for transgender women. Medicare, the program for the elderly and disabled, lifted its ban on covering sex reassignment surgery earlier this year. What gets covered varies from Obamacare policy to policy, but Transgender Law Center Program Administrator Anand Kalra says, the law and policy are on a transgender person's side for the first okay. time. Okay, you see that, that was a good, that is such a great thing because you know what it is? A lot of transsexuals are not getting the proper health care, they're taking hormones, you know, for other people and stuff like that. Um, the hormones, like I said before, it was, it's for females and it was, um, you know, reference to estrogen and stuff like that, you know, as far as the um, hot flashes and stuff like that. You know, we, the women have to go in and get mammograms and checks and stuff like that for cancer, you know, because you're taking this type of pill and a lot of transsexuals are not going in for mammograms and stuff like that to get, you know, as far as the cancer being spreading. And the thing about it, it works very well because you don't have to go overseas, you know, to get the type of work that's done for you because this is the problem that we're having when a transsexual gets sick or something like that when they go overseas you know like to Thailand or Mexico and stuff like that these surgeries get botched up and something goes wrong and think about this now you're at home in the United States of America and you're at home and you're getting sick 
Now, a lot of doctors will not touch you because simple fact of the matter is that they don't want to get a lawsuit or with dealing with someone else's work. So basically what you have to do is try to get back to, you know, where you went to. And a lot of times people say, well, you know, they're not supposed to refuse you as far as, you know, your health care and stuff like that. But if someone has already done some type of work and you come in and trying to fix them, fix someone else's work, you're not really sure exactly what they're doing, which makes the person, which is the patient, like at stake because they really don't know what to do and what is it, they may move something or shift something that's not supposed to be shifted or, or something because everybody does everything differently so they don't really know the kind of job that's been done on their patients so a lot of times doctors don't really like to see other people's doctor, unless it's something small but it's something of that extreme, you know, in sexual reassignment surgery and the patient will have to get what you're going to do. Now, your, your, your body's not dilating. You know, when you get the work done and it's not dilating right, you need to go over to Thailand or Mexico, and you're about dying in five more minutes or ten more minutes. It is impossible. So it's a blessing and it's also a great band lifted for American life and as far as transgenders and their rights and stuff like that. It's, you know, moving forward within the community we live in to try to be acceptable as far as moving forward forward in reference to getting job and work and stuff like that, you know, just to push through and stuff like that. Now, I'd like to see how this turns out. This is going to be very quite interesting. Hopefully, it will be utilized the right way. Hopefully, someone won't be in between their surgeries and something goes wrong and then all of a sudden, you know, I'm just going to stay on a positive note. I just think it's a blessing. I'm glad that the ban is lifted so you girls out there can now officially get yourself a vagina, a vajayjay, and stuff like that. If that's what you want to work for, you would say you want to be a woman. Now it's your big opportunity. It's going to be a big step for some because some people still like using it. <laughs> so that's up to you. But my thing is this is that. The ban is lifted. Um, I put down up there, you know, you saw the couple of states and stuff like that. And you also get, um, have private doctors and stuff like that are starting to sign up. People are starting to sign up because people are, you know, trying to, you know, help as far as the transgender and also they're trying to get to that money but anyway it's still a blessing and it's been lifted um, in a couple of states for example I don't know about New Jersey but I do know I do know New York is separate accepting Medicare and for it's just surgery and stuff like that um, and Obamacare is, um, is, is um, giving um, away free for JJ's well, of course, not free because you have to pay for Obamacare. Anyway, that being said, I just told her how to put that out there. And, you know, it's up to you to decide what you want to do. Anyway, thank you for acknowledging the transgender community. Now, my sisters, it's up to you to decide what you want to do. Just put it out there. It's for you. Anyway, I want to say hello on the people. Boom. I want to say people. Bam. And I want to thank you for watching. Thank you for subscribing. I want you to do you. I want you to do you the best way you can. If nobody don't like it, then fuck them. All right.